Hi, my name is Tracy Simmons and I am a natural hair blogger. I love everything beauty related, makeup, clothes, hair. I love it all. I celebrate myself during Black History by just showing myself love and most importantly, showing love and inspiring and empowering other Black women. It's, you know, we still have our struggles and unfortunately, some of our struggles we can't run away from because of social media. It's, it's a constant reminder of some of the ignorance and hate that's still out there. But we should celebrate ourselves throughout the whole entire year. But, you know, this is a month that's dedicated to our accomplishments, to our beauty, to everything that we are about. My natural hair journeys started really early. My mother relaxed me and my sister's hair at a very, very young age, and we were told that we had bad hair. So I wore a relaxer for a very, very long time. And when I did decide to go natural, it was scary. I ended up big chopping, and it was the scariest thing ever because I had to learn how to love myself. I didn't even realize that my hair was a security blanket. I didn't see the beauty when I first big chopped. I was excited, I felt liberated, I felt free, but all of my insecurities just came to the top. But it was the best thing I did because I learned to love myself exactly the way God made me. Black History Month, for younger people, I think it's very important to educate. This is a month where the spotlight is on us and to educate about people that came before us, that look like us. Sometimes being reminded about our history makes us value uh, the present a whole lot more. In the future, I would love to see more hair texture celebrated. I would love to see locks celebrated. I would love to see, you know, darker skin and tighter curl textures, you know. We've come a long way and it's a wonderful thing to turn on a commercial and see a natural African-American, you know, representing us. I just wanna see more of it. If I could say anything to my 10-year-old self, you're worthy and you're beautiful. Uh, for so many years, I did not talk. I was quiet, I was shy. There's a part of my life, it's like I didn't even exist because I was not in any pictures. So if I could go back and tell the little girl, Tracy, I would tell her that she's beautiful and she's worthy.